Welcome back to another Knife Circus video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you another JavaScript game that I created. It's a fun original idea, at least I hope it's original. So I think you guys are going to like this video. Before we get into it, if you could just leave a like on this video, it would mean a lot to me. It really helps my videos. And so let's get into it. Alright, so here it is. It's basically a color guessing game. We have these four options here that we can guess. And so I'm hoping it's kind of self-explanatory, but it might be a little bit hard to figure out when you first start. I mean, it kind of wouldn't make any sense. So let me explain it. So you click start and you get these two colors and the color of the text is not the right color, obviously. And so we have the word yellow and the color is green. We have the word blue and the color is yellow. So now we have to find what is similar between those two. Obviously, it would be yellow. So I click yellow and that's correct. Now we have green and red. The similarity would be red. Click it. That's right. This one, I'm just going to click blue because that's obviously wrong, and we get an X. There's a countdown at the bottom that starts at 30 and just counts down. Once you hit zero, it tells you how many you got, and you're trying to get as many as you can in 30 seconds. And then it restarts. That's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. If you want to learn how I built it, then keep watching. Also, I would just mention quick from my last video while I was editing it, I got 25 out of 25. So inside our HTML file, we have everything we need. We have our correct and incorrect SVGs. I just whipped those up in Illustrator. And then we have the div the top and we have div bottom. In the top we have our start button and then when that disappears we have the two divs for our colors. And then in the bottom div we have row one, row two, and they just have our four colors on the inside. At the bottom we have two spans keeping track of how many you've gotten correct and the time you have left. Alright, to start off our JavaScript we have an array with all four of our colors. We start by creating a variable random. It's set to a random number between 0 and 3 so that it randomly picks one of those colors inside the array. The way we do that is by setting the variable correct array and it's equal to one of the positions in the color array which we choose from the random number. Then we set the inner HTML of our first color to be the correct color and we set the actual color of the second text to be the right color. What we're doing here is basically just changing the color to one above the index of what it was so that it has a different color we just add one to the index in the array so that it is a separate color the problem is if we add one it's possible that we could add one to three so that it would be four and then that isn't any of the colors in the array then we set display block to the two colors so that you can see them then we run the function add click what that function does is sets up the on click attribute on all four of the colors so that it's ready for the next question the onClick attribute runs the check color function, and it has two parameters, the color that you clicked on and the correct color. If those are the same thing, then that means that you clicked on the right one. And so after every time you click, we need to re-update the onClick so that they have the correct right answer. The correct, correct answer. So that's what our addClick function does. It sets up the onClick so that it's prepared and runs the right function the next time you click it. Here we just have a timer function that counts down from 30. It's pretty simple. And then our check color function just checks if it's the same as the right answer. And if it is, then it adds the correct or the incorrect SVGs. And then after 500 milliseconds, it removes it, makes it fade away. That's how it works. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then leave a like and comment down below how many you can get within 30 seconds. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.